Well, Joe and Jill last night hosted a dinner party on the South Lawn of the White House. And well, I think it's starting to hit Joe that, you know, he got kicked out of running for president. And then after that coup, they installed his vice president as the person to run against Trump and she lost. And it's all just starting to pile on for him and his emotions got the better of him. What I've watched you do for more than 40 years is extraordinary. Yeah, he should be sad. He got kicked out, and then even on election night, they were already blaming him for Kamala losing. There certainly will be some soul-searching within the Democratic Party, whether uh, President Biden stuck around too long, he didn't give the vice president enough time to present her case to the American people. Uh, one thing that we are clearly uh, already starting to see take place is finger pointing and the blame game. And a lot of that is going to be directed at President Biden. And this is even coming from some folks inside of the Harris campaign. Uh, one senior official I just talked to said Biden will hold a lot of blame for it. And frankly, they said he should. Uh, one of the ways in which uh, he is being blamed right now actually just goes back to the simple decision of seeking a second term and re-election in in the first place. Remember, uh, back in 2020, when he was running, he had initially said, I plan on being a transition and a bridge president. And of course, uh, changed his mind ultimately and said, uh, I'm the only person that can defeat Donald Trump. I have more work to do and ended up seeking a second term. And then when his performance uh, completely blew up at the CNN debate over the summer, he had no choice, ultimately was forced to get out of the race. Wait a minute. Forced to get out of the race? I thought Joe did the patriotic thing and noble thing and stepped down on his own. Hmm. Forced to get out of the race. And that's why we ended up having this very truncated uh, Kamala Harris campaign in the first place. And Democrats are looking back on all of this and thinking, what about that parallel universe where Joe Biden had not sought a second term and uh, there had been a full Democratic primary contest where the party actually chose whoever they thought was going to be the strongest person to run a full campaign. Uh, again, I think just one of many ways in which Democrats are going to be uh, asking themselves the tough questions. A lot of tough, tough questions are going to be aimed at President Biden. Uh, one thing that we are clearly uh, already starting to see take place is finger pointing and the blame game. And a lot of that is going to be directed at President Biden.